Welcome back. Today we are doing something a little different. We're going to do a family tree update recap kind of thing for the first generation of my royal family let's play just to give everyone a recap and um, you know head into the next generation fresh. So if you haven't seen uh, the first generation this will be really helpful if you are just going straight to the second but um, I hope that you'll watch it anyway. But <laughs> um, So here's our family tree. It is getting quite wide. But um, let's start here with our queen. Now, um, the link to this family tree is in the description below, as is the link to the wiki here. So um, I do have a wiki, and it has plenty of information, more than I'll probably talk about today. But um, anyway, we are going to get started here. So we started with Cordelia. And she uh, had had her own kingdom, as is part of the Sims lore that her kingdom was destroyed. And she came with her five friends, Matilda, Bob, Chaz, Rodrigo, and Long John. So they all kind of set off to the sea, enjoyed the water, um, played instruments. And Cordelia was a serial romantic, so she had dated a lot of the people. And... Um, basically, where my story begins is that they shipwrecked, and also she was dating Chaz. So she dated Chaz here. Um, it's a terrible picture of him, but you know. <laughs> um, she was dating Chaz, and they were together when they shipwrecked. So they shipwrecked, and when they shipwrecked, they met Luna. Here's Luna. And she was part of my two other Let's Plays. She was the last generation of the Clark family legacy, and then we did a Black Widow challenge with her. So she had killed a lot of Sims. And she basically was getting kind of lonely and decided that she was going to offer Cordelia some land in her continent area that she has. So she, you know, took a liking to Cordelia and said, okay, why don't you start a new kingdom here? And the only rules that she had were that the heir has to have Cordelia's purple eyes and that the, um, like all the people have to marry people that she chose. So these are, you know, her quote unquote children who she's um, black widowed their parents. So she is offering those stipulations and they just kind of have to accept. I mean, they've got no way to leave again. Their ship is broken. So they all agree. Cordelia marries Xander. And he becomes the king. And Cordelia continues her affair with Chaz while this is all happening. And they kind of start the kingdom. Matilda was already old, so she did pass away quickly. But... Um, Matilda was a mother figure to Cordelia, and it was very sad because while Cordelia was cheating on Xander, Xander also cheated on her, and he actually cheated with Matilda, who was an alcoholic at the time, and she just kind of, you know, it was really hard between Matilda and Cordelia because they had such a good relationship, so what they decided, um, Matilda decided to get sober and was able to kind of make amends before she passed away, so there was that, and long story short, Everyone continued to cheat on each other. So Cordelia and Xander had Eliza, our crown princess. And um, starting in the next one will be our queen. So they had Eliza. She was born with purple eyes, which was really nice because I was worried about how long it was going to take to have a baby with purple eyes. Anyway, so she continued her affair with, um, with Chaz and... She actually got pregnant with Chaz's children. So she got pregnant with twins, Mikkel and Regina, and um, she had them. They were Chaz's children. And she had this huge blow up with Xander. And um, basically, they decided that they were going to work on their marriage and work with their family, and they were going to try really hard to you know, make it work and stop being so toxic. So they renewed their vows. Cordelia broke up with Chaz and that was that. So that's what happened there. And then 
in the background, we have everyone else living their lives. Um, Bob married Maura. Long John married Haley. I should just open open these up. Hold on. I don't even know how to get there from here. Um, oh, let's go here. So Chaz was married to Carmen. This is Carmen. And Rodrigo, I'll show you some pictures. Rodrigo married Camilla. And of course, everyone was having kids and doing their thing. Long John married Haley. They had an open relationship, so they were just having a good time. And Bob and Maura were together. Now, Bob actually got hit by a car and passed away early. So his daughter, Ashlyn, Ashlyn became the Duchess at a very young age. So that's what's going on there. But continuing our story, um, in the background, Chaz and Carmen had, you know, two children and they decided to just kind of live as roommates, kind of. So Carmen actually started her own affair with Mora, who is uh, Bob's widow. Um, they did start their affair before Bob died, but um, they continued it after he died as well. So Bob died. Mora is now single. Carmen's wondering why she's even married. <laughs> and um, they decided to blackmail Cordelia and Chaz based on their illegitimate kids here, Regina and Mikal. So they decided that they were going to use the fact that Cordelia wasn't really keeping up her end of the bargain with the vampire to organize a divorce. So Chaz and Carmen had just won the lottery too. So Carmen says, half the money's mine and I'm going to go and marry Mora and there's nothing you can do or I'm going to tell the vampire that you, you had these illegitimate children. And one of them has purple eyes. Mikhail has purple eyes. So that was definitely a danger because if anything happened to Eliza, that would make Mikhail the next king. And he wasn't of the bloodline that Luna chose. So that would have been a big deal. So Chaz gets divorced from Carmen and is overall pretty bitter about his life. So that's what happened there. And these two um, just kind of, you know, were happy for a while on Xander's elder birthday he actually died immediately after blowing out the candles so that was a shame so he died and we uh, now have a single Cordelia and she stayed single for a little bit and then her and Chaz kind of reconnected became like good friends again kind of put all of the past negativity behind them and then finally got married so they decided to get married in their old age they were both elders and then they spent the rest of their lives together um, before I forget, uh, Cordelia and Xander did have three more children, Killian, Adora, and Apollo. So that's what's going on there. That's basically Cordelia's life story. And we did establish the kingdom. Um, how do I get? I have no idea how to navigate this <laughs> website. Uh, okay, the kingdom. So they established the kingdom over this time. And... There are taxes that each noble family gets. The heir has to have purple eyes. When you marry into a family, the dowry goes to the receiving family. And in the event of a divorce, they get to take the money back. Or if there is not enough money, they have to split the funds 50-50. Um, and then I just thought about like a cult. If a vampire marries in, they either have to become human or leave the kingdom when their spouse dies. Because I don't, if like a vampire becomes the king or queen, then they're going to end up being on the throne forever so we're not going to do that and then we have clubs so we have the royalty club we have the nobility club and then there's clubs for other socializations that we don't really use as much anymore and then we have holidays so cordelia day the royal summit so this is when we give presents to the vampire the royal ball tax day so that i don't forget to do their taxes <laughs> love day and remembrance day so we visit the graveyard and that is what's going on there. So let's move on to Generation 2. So Generation 2 started with Eliza. And Eliza was very high strung. She's always worked really hard. She's felt a lot of pressure on herself to become 
the queen and so I did um, give her a wellness aspiration later on just to make sure that she could relax a little bit, which she also took way too seriously, but that's just her personality, you know. So Eliza as a child actually didn't get along with her sister Regina because Regina's mean, but Mikhail got along with everybody. And Eliza um, did not get along with Simon's sister, who is also named Cordelia, because Simon is actually Chaz's son. So Chaz has two kids, little Cordelia, as I've been calling her because we have Cordelia the Queen, and he named, yeah, he named his daughter after his mistress. Um, so we have her and Simon. And so Eliza and little Cordelia never got along because obviously there was tension between the families. And um, at the same time, Chaz wanted his family to be included in the royal family because he was with Cordelia and it was this thing. So these two were kind of pushed together. But at the same time, I feel like they have a really good relationship. And I feel like that they are really actually suited to each other. So that's what's going on there. They have currently three kids, um, Leto, Seth, and Reliana. Seth and Reliana both have purple eyes, so um, if anything happens to Seth, Reliana can become the um, the heir. I did not update that. That's fine. Most of them say. <laughs> um, then we have, I'll come back to Mikael because his is long-winded. Uh, Regina married Nasir, who is now Duke Siren, he took over from Rodrigo, and they have five kids, except Joanna is actually Rodrigo's daughter, so Regina and had an affair with her father-in-law, so that was something. Uh, Killian and Blaze, and then Adora and Kayla got together, so um, they each have three children, but so Blaze... And Killian used Adora as a surrogate for their kids. And then Kayla and Adora used Killian as a donor for their kids. I'm hoping that one of these children comes out having purple eyes. <laughs> so I don't know if I explain that well. Killian and Kayla had the babies. Blaze and Adora had the babies. Adora's babies stay with Adora and Killian's babies stay with Killian. So that's what's happening there. And then we have Apollo and... Marla, who have two children. Um, if the picture is like this, it's because it's a baby, so I don't have a picture of it yet. So um, they have two children, and they are also going to have a farm, so I'm going to do the cottage living thing with them. They both really like gardening. They bonded over that. So the thing is, we had four duchies, and because of that, let me see. Because of that, we didn't have enough titles for all of the royal children. So what I decided to do was, so Mikhail Mary Cassidy, so she's the Duchess, so that makes him the Duke. Nasir's a Duke, which makes Regina a Duchess. But these three didn't have titles, and so I had Cordelia give them the title of um, Marquis or Marchioness. So that's what happened here. Each of these children were given titles, and now they have land. So everyone gets a title. And let's go back to Mikel to describe what's going on here. So Mikel is also a serial romantic, just like his mom. And he actually looks a lot like her. They have the same hair and eye color. So I was like, this is perfect. So we have these two. And um, Mikel dated literally everybody, including Ashlyn, who is the Duchess, the Perryton Duchess. She took over from her father, Bob, when he died early. You remember that. So um, he would probably have married Ashlyn because they had the same kind of ideas about relationships. And um, it would have been a perfect match because no one would have ever gotten mad. But Cassidy here is so obsessed with Mikael. She's like super in love with him. It's like fatal attraction. And um, she basically baby trapped him. So as teenagers, she got pregnant with the triplets and he was forced to marry her because, you know, he got her pregnant. They got to get married. Um, her father insisted. So they got married and they had triplets and then um, they had two more children. And then what most recently has happened is that Mikkel has had a baby with Ashlyn. So that is going to come up later in the second generation here. But this, I, I don't even know what to call them. Generations, seasons, I don't know. Reigns, second reign, Eliza's reign. 
So that is going to become a point of contention in the future. But anyway, so that's what's going on here. Got the whole family tree. And yeah, I don't know if there's anything else I want to say about it. We are going to do the cottage living thing. They are mo everyone's done having babies are done. <laughs> um, Mikel is going to get his own little storyline related to his philandering ways. And um, also we are going to have the royal family in their storylines. So something that is going on right now. So we're going to have Eliza's coronation. She's going to become the queen. And I haven't updated this yet because I haven't actually started. She hasn't become the queen yet in where I'm at when I'm playing. So she's going to become the queen. Simon's going to become the king. And then um, Leto has the mental aspiration. He's been doing really good with that. I think he, yeah, he finished it. And he's very book smart. Seth is evil. So that is going to be a thing. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and then Reliana is not old enough to really have a personality. So that's what's going on here. That's what we're looking forward to in the future. And... I am really sad that we lost Cordelia. All of Gen 1 is, is now deceased, so they're done. They're all done. And we are just moving forward with Generation 2 and their stories. So I'm really excited about that. I have a few events already planned, and we will uh, get going on Eliza's reign in the next one. So I hope that you're excited for that. I hope you enjoyed this recap, and I will catch you guys in reign 2.